Hey guys, measurement of body fluid volumes is one of the most frequently asked topic from physiology. So watch this entire video and four marks are in your pocket for definitely. And you'll never forget this topic further. Firstly divide total body water into intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid. Again, extracellular fluid is having something extra that is plasma and interstitial fluid. So total body water into ICF. ECF and ECF into plasma and interstitial fluid. So here there is a rule called 60-40-20 rule. So 60% of the whole body's composition is total body water out of which 40 is ICF and 20 is ECF. Remember it as tie. Total body water, intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid. So I am is always more like I am always more. Remember it like that. So I is always more. In this uh, flow chart there are two I's, right? Interstitial fluid and ICF. So, among ECF and ICF, ICF is more, 40%. And among interstitial fluid and plasma, interstitial fluid is 15% and plasma is 5%. Okay. So, I is always more. I is, ICF is 40 and interstitial is 15. So, 15 plus 20 of interstitial and plasma constitute 20 of ECF. And 20 plus 40 constitute total body water 60%. So, that is in regards of percentage now let us learn in liters so 42 liters of total body water 40 percent of 42 liters is 28 liters and ecf is 14 liters so you add 28 plus 14 it becomes 42 and interstitial fluid is 10.5 liters and plasma is 3.5 liters so 10.5 liters plus 3.5 liters together constitute ecf that is 14 liters 14 plus 28 is 42 liters so in liters and in percentage this flow chart is done now remember one thing that i is measured indirectly so i is more and i is measured indirectly so what does that mean i is measured indirectly so you don't have any components to measure the icf and interstitial fluids directly okay so icf is always measured uh, with a formula icf and interstitial fluid so what are the formulas so you don't need to ratify these formulas you just uh, have this basic uh, flow chart in your mind and you can get so you in order to get icf you have to subtract ecf from tbw that is total body water whereas in order to get interstitial fluid you have to subtract plasma volume from ecf right so interstitial fluid you get by subtracting plasma volume from ecf that is you have to take that 5 percent from the 20 percent of ecf so ecf minus plasma so these are the two formulae for icf and interstitial fluid so now comes to the remaining part of the flow chart that is both eyes are done right so you are left with uh, total body water extracellular fluid and plasma so both eyes are done icf and interstitial so t e and p are left over so for total body water the term itself indicates water right so all the water components like uh, deuterium tritium so tritium is 3H2O and deuterium is 2H2O, right? So an antiparin and aminoparin. You just need to remember one word that is antiparin and aminoparin extra here. And coming to the extracellular fluid, so you have to get an extraordinary rank to get into NIMS Hyderabad, right? So some extraordinary rank you need. So extracellular fluid is NIMS. So N is sodium thiosulfate and I is inulin, M is mannitol, and S is sucrose. So remember NIMS. Sodium thiosulfate, inulin, mannitol and sucrose for extracellular fluid. Coming to plasma. Plasma is uh, the important component here is Evans blue. So do I frequently ask you about this Evans blue question. So plasma is for Evans blue. You remember it as a plasma blue TV. Okay. So plasma is for Evans blue. And uh, again you have albumin in the plasma. Right. Albumin these all these proteins are in the plasma so radioactive iodine radioactive albumin or radio labeled albumin are used for uh, knowing the composition or the percentage of plasma fluid so this is all about total body water plasma extracellular fluid and the two eyes that is interstitial and intracellular fluid so when uh, in order to understand these components further more clear see uh, i have drawn two cells there so those two cells are intracellular fluid and the rest all that is extracellular fluid so extracellular fluid is all dotted okay so extracellular fluid is having both the components right one is plasma and the other is interstitial fluid so plasma is in the blood vessel itself whereas interstitial fluid is in the tissues outside so interstitial fluid is five percent and plasma is sorry interstitial fluid is 15 percent more and plasma is five percent okay 
from the uh, blood vessel albumin cannot go out right it cannot be filtered out into the interstitial fluid so you use radio labeled albumin to measure the plasma albumin cannot go into the interstitial fluid so it gets stuck in the plasma so it gives the composition of components of plasma for you so you use radio labeled albumin for plasma composition if you are new to this channel please show your love by liking subscribing and uh, commenting so there is a question in the last slide so don't miss that question and we also have a telegram channel where you can uh, ask your doubts post your topics of your difficulty and i'll try to make them uh, simplified in an easy manner so let us discuss about the question now so here's the question which component is used by measuring deuterium minus inulin comment your answers down thank you